whatever. Well, I have good news. What's that? Upon learning that you can get chunks from re-rolling abilities, I uh, basically got enough swim speed chunks to just build my set without actually playing the main game like I was, you know, procrastinating on doing. So, I never knew that. That's interesting. I feel like I knew it at one point and then completely forgot it, because I was like, is there any other way to get chunks other than uh, in the Salmon Run? So I looked it up on Inkipedia and it said that, and I'm like, nice. That's interesting. It gives me an actual use for this hideous pile of money. Well, I don't what know about that. A can you... year of labor. I don't think you can re-roll with money yet, can you? What? I don't think you can re-roll. Oh, re no, I was right. It's, I was thinking, like, no, I guess it is seashells then. And even then, I have like 150 of the pieces of this shit. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying that maybe you, sh you would have 160 and uh, you'd be a bit happier with yourself, but... Says the guy doesn't even play the game. You insisted on being a bitch, so... I don't fucking know. Speaking of being a bitch, are you fucking serious? My car, this guy, doesn't do anything for most of the round of men. That is not true! I was sniping at a distance with my sniper! That does damage! And lots of it! Lots of that damage! I love the insurmountable wall these fucking things are. Thank you, sorcerer, for just deciding to swim up the wall directly in front of me and block half my shots. I don't like how you can't be a squid after- wait, that's not true, is it? What? Here, hold on, I, I need to test something. Yeah, that's oh, weird. Okay. I guess when a little shit is, uh, you know, up against you, you can't actually, uh, turn into a squid. It's because you're being hit, I guess. Well, those are in the worst wave. Just this shitty map. No, Girl, those are in the worst wave. It is like actually this shitty map. I mean, it is I, not, I didn't see not. you utilizing the other side of the map. Because everyone is over here. There's exactly, no because this there. map is designed like a garbage machine. No, that's not the map's fault. That's people playing it like where they just clump around the thing. I mean, if you want to die to propellers, then by all means, the unpredictability of people. Yeah, so now, now I have the gear. I kind of wish that I could reorganize just the appearance of it. Because I actually thought that the gear went... The first slot is always 10, the second slot's always 20, the third slot's always 30. But it's actually just based on... Uh, it might you, know, you have. Yeah, the amount of, like, if you have the same one then it go in the same gear, then it goes up to 20. Yeah. That kind of thing. So basically what I did is I just put down uh, ink resistance, sub power up, and... Uh, Another useless ability. I forget what it was. And then, uh, re rolled. <laughs> Just kept on re rolling. That's not good. Okay, we're good. That's not good. I didn't have the chat up. Ah. So now I have the gear at least. Will you actually use it though? Maybe. Mm -hmm. That remains the BC. Still just kind of annoyed with the fact that like, if I ever want to use a different weapon, I'm not gonna want one main and one sub of or a special, what was it? Secondary saver. That's why we build other pieces of gear. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Because there's only one look that I want. And just stick with it then. No, because that's not optimal. The fuck was that? What? I guess someone's flying fucker thing hit me. No problem. Even though, like, I shouldn't have. 
If you kill that flying fucker with your weapon, that can kill flying fuckers. If I can get near it. Hey, can you get near that flying fucker so you can kill that flying fucker with your weapon that can kill flying fuckers? Yeah, I just did it. You don't have to be that annoying about it. This guy, you know, I, I just try to inject some some life into the stream and he calls it annoying. <laughs> it's not life to do that and just nag me like that. No, I'm just trying to be Simon Belmont and kill all the Simon dead. Simon Belmont is, is not a happy person. The, uh, now I am killing all the deadness that is in the stream. He kills mostly alive. With things. my wit and comedic timing. Oh, you're lucky you didn't have the weapon that can kill flying fuckers because... I had it last week. Yeah, I know, but like, it's probably still possible. You know how it is. You know how it is. With Salmon Run. Yeah, that wasn't actually supposed to kill it. <laughs> oh. I, say, I just killed that snake, but not course. It's just the second one out of nowhere. Oh, it's been there for a while. I'm oh, nuts. Wow, that's just instantly green. Right there. Oh my god! Throw a grenade! I don't know what he's doing, but oh, yeah. it's not moving. Throw All right, he just accepted his fit and died. Throw a grenade! Stop moving and then <laughs> just let them all hit him into the water. For it. I also appreciate the guy whose name is Your Bad Kid being the worst player here by a mile. I don't know about that. As you can- oh, I don't actually have the lowest egg score. So instead of making a quip about the lowest egg score, I'm gonna point out about... <laughs> why I would make a quip, except not really. And the funny thing is, I'm like, well, I have 60 sea snails, and re-rolling is actually pretty much worthless in this game when you have chunks. So you know what, I, I'm just gonna roll and hope that I can get like maybe two swim speed ups so that I only <laughs> have to use 30 instead of 60. And that actually worked on one gear and then never really again on the other ones, but now I have more chunks. So hey, that's cool. Weapon is also really good at covering walls. Very good at inking in general. It also has like a deceptively long range. Ow. And so I posted on Twitter that I got a a pure... I was a chum there, and I just decided that threw off my aiming cursor about like 10 miles because of course it did. Shit. But why do the small things always just like spawn one of them like right beside me? Anyway, continue, sorry, I'm just have to bitch about this game. On one, on one uh, gear I got a pure ink saver main, which I would have liked on another gear maybe. If I ever do rollers, but I don't know if I'm going to do rollers because, you know, I only want to experiment with enough abilities. Oh, that's annoying. But, uh, yeah, so I re-rolled it. I was like, you know what, should I re-roll it? No, but I will. Because I want the pink hoodie to be, uh, for my end zap. <laughs> that was dumb. What happened? I, like, barely avoided being knocked in the water, and then, uh, a steelhead explosion killed me a mile away. Is there a want to do? Yeah, so I re-rolled it, and, uh, got Im immediately another Ink Saver main pure. I saw that, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, come on! This is cosmic. It couldn't be swim speed. Like everyone else loves Ink Saver Main. I'm like, 
kind of prefer ink saver or the ink recovery up. The fans in the web. Stuff like the Clash Blaster definitely prefers ink saver, man. Yeah, maybe if you're a brain dead idiot. Idiot. You, know, just you can't use it. Oh, I th I, for a second I thought that you were talking about how, like, yeah, you don't have enough skill to use it, and then I was gonna go into a whole tirade about how that weapon doesn't require skill, but now I literally cannot use it. You literally cannot use it, but also it does require some skill. Yeah, I'm sure about that, Gavin, except not really. You're just mad because it wrecked you. You know, it's the one, it's like the one weapon in the world where, like, run speed up is actually kind of alright, I think. I mean, like it's all right on anything. You hold down. No, that's not true. But you hold down, you know, the clash blaster for 20 seconds at a time and don't even aim. So you know, being able to move faster. See, don't even aim, and that just kind of tells you you have no idea what you're talking about. It's a blaster. You don't even aim. No, you do. Yeah, blasters you aim more than any other, like any other gun, because you need. For like any blaster that isn't the Clash Blaster, you need that body shot to get maximum damage. And for the Clash Blaster, you need to aim. No, see that the thing is, your AOEs to bother people and chase them out of places. The thing is, with the nor other blasters, it actually is important because you won't you got one shot, one kill, you know. But with the Clash Blaster, you have 20 shots and one kill. Except not really, because it's more like 50 shots and four kills. This, this confirms to me that you're mad about being destroyed, by it. I mean, it's just, it's just like the, the normie weapon of this game, I think. That's how you know it. you're just mad it destroys you, because when you break out the word normie to describe anything, it's usually not actually applicable. The normie weapon's still the arrow spray. And no, fucking, it's not! <laughs> the dually squelchers, especially. You never like see the arrow. Oh, yeah, right? the, do the dually squelchers are also a normie weapon, that is for sure. Not a also, like, they are. It's just, they're just fucking them. And I, I hope you know that I would use them if I could jump with them. I kind of have like the preference for the dapple to lose and the fact that they just kill faster. Faster rolls also just feel better than me, although they are very short. But yeah, no, like basically, like, that standard turf world, he's like, fucking no one uses a Clash Blaster except like me when I break it out. Gavin, yeah, I mean, who the fuck plays standard turf war? Most people. It's all about the ranked modes. Please turn around, thank you. That worked, thank you. Uh I hate how long some of those missiles take a lot. I hate how often this game spawns two snakes at once. Cause that means they're just perfectly stacked on top of each other and you can't hit the first one. There's usually so many enemies around the teal that you can't hit the second one either. Well, Gavin, you know what they say. What? Win Snakes is a video game. I thought you were going to make an Ouroboros joke. A what? You don't know what an Ouroboros is. Aurora Borealis? Gavin, Steamed Hams is like months old. I wish I could get to the basket. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's close to being racist, but okay. <laughs> what, Aurora Borealis? Saying that Auroboros is that, yeah. Orangadong, the monster in Monster Hunter World? No, it's this, the, the, you've never seen the Auroboros, like the snake eating it, like another snake's tail. Or the snake eating its own tail. They like, eat our war. It's a symbol of immortality, of a never-ending cycle of time, from African culture. Hmm, I have a better idea. It's called... a circle. <laughs> Instead of, like, what, what snake eats its own tail? Probably right. exists, knowing that's, stupid fucking animals. That's the metaphor, isn't it? <laughs> Snakes are like low tier reptiles, I would say. Very overrated.
course it takes me. Thought they were down there. <laughs> Gotta put the help in an appropriate spot, game. Wow. Wait, oh, that was the second one. Okay, great. You know what they should do? What? They should make Splatoon in 4D. 4D. Yeah, and when you're act when you're being shot, what would that entail? When you're being shot by a, a stinger, it should actually spray high pressured water at you. <laughs> Reload your switch now before playing Samurai. It can blast you in the face. And like you know, when you get shot, it would uh, you'd feel like paint I'll be on you. The Nintendo's like new VR console experience. It'll be 4D. It'll have like a canister to spray stuff at you. I mean, it's not a bad idea. It, really, the only time I hated 4D is on the SpongeBob 4D ride, where they put like whips under the chairs, and they whips. whip your ankles. I hated Why? that one, because it's just like Plankton had a had a robot that could whip SpongeBob, and you know. Yeah, I mean, you know, like, you know, they spray water, they blow bubbles, yeah, stuff like that, and then they whip you! I'm like, what? <laughs> I, I, I remember I would sit with my legs up. Like, I would be, I would be hugging my, uh, my legs in, in anticipation for it. I've only ever been on, like, one 4D thing. Was, was like, it well, Shrek? No. It was some... Thing that was like original to the venue that had the 4D setup, and I all I remember was like they moved the chairs about a bit whenever you were like moving, and then they would spray your water occasionally. I just kind of like I just <laughs> I don't get it. And I still really don't get it. I mean, have you ever been on those uh, those like fake amusement park rides? No. Like the the ones where like you sit in a kind of like car like thing oh yeah and, no uh, i have them yeah. and it uh like the spider-man ride or whatever i don't know what they have a name i just forget what it is yeah i, I wouldn't know uh i have no ink help those rides are actually pretty okay they don't, they aren't really worth the wait, though, I think, most of the time. I can't reach that far. And The Simpsons 1 is actually pretty bad, comparatively, so... I, mean, I don't think we've ever had any, any of these specific rides over here. The funny thing is about The Simpsons 1, though, is that they showed Simpsons episodes in line, which is, like, the best idea ever. You and just I get in line to watch Simpsons episodes. It, it like the wait was act was like an hour. It didn't feel that at all. <laughs> it was so good. Like, why do Plan works. why do all of these roller coasters just play like the thirty second safety video on repeat instead of like actually putting on you know entertainment? Yeah, entertainment. And like at most you get like this fucking sitcom that sucks and you only have the subtitles for doesn't he oh it doesn't even have to be themed like the Simpsons one like just have anything something yeah <laughs> I remember when I got a phone with 4g it was like not too long before we went to uh, I forget which amusement park it was but it made waiting in line so much better because I could just load up a Northern Lion video and watch it <laughs> in line. I'm like, perfect. I thought it wasn't one of the MLSS's where we talked about dying in like Carnival Ride. <laughs> <laughs> an oddly recurring topic a few times if I remember that. Right. I mean, that doesn't really affect me anymore. I'm not afraid of uh, amusement park rides. Are you afraid of amusement park rides? Some. Uh, oh yeah, you know what? That, that's true. I'm afraid of the 
the ride where they you, you sit in the chair and then it just brings you up at like 50 miles I was per hour. Name that one, like the 50,000 foot drop, or whatever the fuck yep. they want to call it. Those are, those ones are actually bad. Everything else is fine, I think. I used to be afraid of Ferris wheels before, or even after roller coasters. Now I just like whatever. I find Ferris wheels is kind of boring. Yeah, they're really boring. They're like, <laughs> they're like scary at worst and boring at best. <laughs> Not really a good thing. I mean, there are the roller coasters that are like in cities that are actually like really high, so you can like see the whole city. That's kind of cool. Like uh, the London Eye and that one roller coaster near Niagara. I'm sorry, that one Ferris wheel near Niagara Falls. I would give me the shit to overlook the falls because you just see this even bigger drop. Oh yeah, no, it doesn't. It's not that close to the falls. It's just <laughs> like in the area near it. Hey, toaster man. Hello. Did you draw Gino like that yet? But what else are you afraid of, Gavin? Like in general, or? No, not, not in, I mean, if you want, but I mean roller coasters. Or amusement park rides. I can't really think of anything. I'm not afraid of it, but... I don't like those rides where they just spin you around like the Gravitron. I've never been on one of those because every time I looked at it, I was like, I don't know, I'll fucking throw it. I, get on that I mean, it's actually pretty alright, but one time I think the dude had it on for too long, and I felt yeah. like I was about to throw up for literally five hours after it. So, I'm just, I, mean, I ain't about to risk that anymore. Yeah. It was fun otherwise, though. I did like it. It's cool. If, like, people go upside down and shit. I mean, I basically got you killed, so I kind of have to, uh... Revive you. That one, that one ride where it like spins you around. I don't know what it's called. Like, I think the one in Hershey Park is called the Scrambler. And I'm it's not different sure names. I know what that is. It's like you sit in a long chair with someone and then it like spins you around and you're like, because of how it's spinning, you like get pushed to the right or the left, like oh, hard, like you know? Fast teacups or? Yeah, like, like, you know, it just spins you fast basically. And uh, that's not really I've fun when never you're... seen one of those. That's not fun when you're the person being crushed. <laughs> and that was like a trend of like using some park rides is just a, like moving you as faster than you really should be moved. Well, I mean, I'm fine with like other like roller coasters do that. I'm fine with those. Um, yeah. I didn't really like Fahrenheit in Hershey. What one's that? That's the one where it drops you at like... I don't know what the actual angle is, but it's like more than 90 degrees. So okay. you're like, when it drops you, you're like partially upside down. Ah. Uh. Like, it's, it's, it's a steep drop basically, and it's called Fahrenheit because, you know, degrees. Funny. Uh. But, uh... Yeah, I, I I was young during that, and I, I cried for the whole thing. <laughs> it's not science, but right? <laughs> I didn't that's like the sort that of thing one. that exists to terrify children. <laughs> I feel like we definitely talked about uh, how I hate like most water slides, especially the tube ones. I hate really? tubes. I don't remember all that. Because then you just fu you, you're I, I'm always afraid they're gonna fall out of the fucking tube. Because they exist to be fallen out of. I hate them. And then every other water slide is like a straight shot down and you go at 500 miles per hour and it looks like it kills your back. I am not about that life. We went to like, what's that place called? It's like in the middle of the Caribbean and there's the slide where it goes 
like through a shark tank and shit. No idea. I forget what it's called. We went there uh, once and I, I would have liked to do that if it wasn't a fucking dumbass water slide. They had a kick ass lazy river though, and then I think I got close to second degree sunburn on my kneecaps. Specifically your kneecaps. I think it was like shoulders and kneecaps, because with how the tubes in the lazy river were, I had my legs kind of tucked up. And with how the sun is close to the equator, I was like killing them essentially. I'm gonna have like skin cancer on my shoulders for sure. I'm just Falling waiting for the, the water moment. slide and dying is half the fun. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not. Fun. See, no, I'm not about that life. Like, it's like tube water slides. I don't know about tube water slides either because you can't fucking see where you're going. So like, you know, you're going really fast and then suddenly, oh, to the right, and then you're like, all your internal organs get crushed without you expecting it. That's. <sighs> Explosure is pretty good in Simon Run, yeah. It's really good, yeah. Cause it can kill it's flying pretty fighters. well, has some mad range, and it's like the only gun outside of the Grisgo, some of the Grisgo stuff that can just kill the flying shits. Don't call it a gun. Yeah, you don't want to. No, it's a weapon. Got a gun, is a weapon. <sighs> Do I have to teach you about squares and rectangles? Well, no, because it doesn't apply. Square is a rectangle, but, but calling a, out a rectangle is a necessary abstraction. A gun is a weapon, but a weapon isn't a gun. Unnecessary abstraction? No. You know how much I- oh god. You know how much- one alive, by the way. You know how much I love guns in this game? So to equate them to any other garbage, shitty fuck weapon type <laughs> is basically insulting me. I like the roller. Getting all the way over there. Yo, oh, you know how this map is. I don't think that was this map. I don't know why he was all the way over there by himself. It sound like Star? What do you- like, voice-wise? I've had no one equate my voice to anyone. I have no idea who that is. He, uh, used to play a lot of TF2, and then now he plays a lot of Overwatch. Okay. Friends Sounds with- Sounds like a, a natural progression. Germa. I have no idea who Germa is either. How do I even describe what the fuck Germa does? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't we watch Germa, Germa Rumble once? That really? like 40 minute video where he just made custom characters in a wrestling game and then pitted them against each other while doing commentary? No. Like, there were like three of them? We gotta watch that. I don't watch Germa anymore though, but... He made the rat movies as well. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> I remember those. I'm not sure I'll ever forget those. <laughs> I showed you dial M for mommy, right? I don't think so. Oh my god. I have to. That one is so good. It's about the mummy, you fuck! Wait, no, I remember that one. Isn't that the one that's like the Diddy Kong? Yeah, the Diddy Kong and then, the the Kong and then SpongeBob and the pumpkin. Yeah, yeah, I remember that one. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. that. Was an experience. We gotta go. <laughs> no, I don't want that. Give me the mummy. <laughs> if, you, if anyone watching this hasn't watched that, you gotta... Dial in for mummy by Michael. Wow, look at all these eggs. I'm glad there's a 
car here to block it all. <laughs> Did that actually work? That was a hell of a shot, it was. Wow. That was you dead over there? No, I was the one who made the shot. Oh, okay, never mind then. I thought I threw a grenade and it uh, revived. No, I might as well land the explosion shot over the wall. Well, that's not as impressive, I would say. So you basically stole that from me. There's a topic we could discuss, but I'm kind of scared to bring it up. Well, that means you oh, fuck me then, Snake Head. That means you absolutely should bring it up then. No, because you know that that means you won't shut the fuck up because it's something you like a lot. How dare I speak on this? <laughs> <laughs> but it's something I can't possibly have an opinion on yet. And why do you have it as a topic? <laughs> because it's big news! Okay, what is it? And I want to play the first Doom. Ah, Doom Eternal. Yep, now don't... That, that's it. Those are the only two words you shall speak on the matter. What do you want to talk about Doom Eternal? Nothing. <laughs> that's where you go, then why have it as a topic? And then I just <laughs> don't... Then I just don't answer. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, gamers?! He will be the only guy on the other end of the map from the bosses. No, that wasn't me. I would. Gavin, I never go on the other side of the map unless there's a flying fucker there. And sometimes, even then, I'm like, well, someone else can deal with it. <laughs> oh, and gushers, of course. Ugh. Yeah, eventually I'll play the first Doom. When's Doom Eternal coming out? Uh, sometime next year. We haven't had it yet. I mean, with how I've been playing games, which is to say I haven't been playing games, I could probably just wait play until them. Doom Eternal comes out to play the first Doom and then just combo them. Doom, it's so good, and Eternal looks so fucking good. It looks so fucking good. They should have just called it Hell on Earth and doubled down. They already used that title. For I know. Hey, guess Eternal. what other title they also use, Gavin? What? Doom. <laughs> so double down. I mean, everyone just calls it Doom 4. That's what it is. It's Doom 4. I wish everyone called it Doom 4, but they don't. At least not I mean, like the publishers don't. But fuck it, everyone else does. Doom 4 was a the go-to way of like hard to reboot uh, like a 90s FPS and like do like actual proper good fun FPS gameplay. And Doom Eternal is just that but faster and with like swords and it looks fucking rad. And on Earth. Which is better than well, half on Earth and half in like hell. Which is how these things usually go. Wait, did you actually say Earth? I don't know, do <laughs> I, th I thought you said Earth just to humor <laughs> Like, <laughs> that's new. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe it's just the way I so. said What's your hyper, by the way? Uh, splash thing. Then might as well use it. I have Stingray, so that, you know, it's yeah, too late. Not a, not a chance on this earth. Too late to use that one. Ah, well, the sneak and circle being completely absorbed that last. Yeah. Oh. Comedy gold! Comedy gold! <laughs> You could have done that. <laughs> if that snake hadn't happened, it just emerged and said, we're like, ah, oh, this person will do. Yeah. yeah, like, it looks really fucking good. It looks basically as fast and like with like the same fluid and moment, like movement and momentum of the first game. Or the fourth game, whatever. <laughs> and... <laughs> and, uh... The melee editions where yeah, like, you know, I have an extendo stab blade and also just a fucking laser sword. Those look like really welcome additions and they go really well with like the high speed thing and the new dash maneuver where you can just, on top of sprinting around everywhere, you can hit a button to occasionally dash, especially mid-air. 
and you've like, oh, a flame, no. like flamethrower mounted on your shoulder, and you occasionally just when you're running past it, just spray shit with fire as you're already shooting another gun. Dashes are the worst. <laughs> And then it has like all, it has like the host of Doom 2 enemies, there's like, the Arachnotrons, there's like, fucking, I forget their name, like the Super Monkey Bee, there's the fucking Revenants are back, that's gonna be fucking fun. I want, I hope Revenants are like regular-ish enemies, like the Cyber Demons were. I'm talking like about near now. Barons of Hell, as opposed to just like a boss fight, which you know, I could see them doing, but I would rather than be. Regular gets that appear in cries and just cause fucking problems like they were in Doom 2. They should do the God of War thing where they make it a boss and then just make it a boss again. Again. And then just and make again. it a boss again. And <laughs> again. And again. <laughs> that game had like three bosses and you fight all of them six times. I mean, not like I can say anything. I can say it because I played the fucking thing. Because <laughs> it's kind of just like Super Mario Sunshine when you think about it. But even then, Super Mario I mean, Sunshine no, like, didn't do it that much, I guess. It didn't do it that much. It's like, what, twice at most? You fight PD twice and you fight Goober Wooper three times. Yeah, that's fine. It's not like, hey, you know that trolling you fought the first start of the game? Like, hey, he's an interesting boss, isn't he? Well, here he is. This is like a boss. Again. Alright, you got like three rooms away. Right? Here he is as a boss. Again. Hey, you know that Dark Elf King who had like a, like a semi attempt at an interesting mechanic where he makes the room go about? Yeah, you just fight him like five times in the, over the course of the main plot and like an R6 in the side content. <laughs> you know, I think you have to stop being so bitter. So when am I bitter? We've all we've <laughs> we established in Salmon Run 153 that I am positive. <laughs> I hope that's the actual number. I don't know if that's the actual number, <laughs> but I feel like you know no one would be surprised if I actually remembered. I would be surprised, and I would hope that you actually did remember these like miscellaneous facts. That you can just catalog these things in your mind. I catalog the moments you snipe or you uh, spite me. <laughs> he would run out of space in your head. Yeah. Oh, I hit the wall! Are you kidding me? Dude, are you kidding me? I wanna see! I don't know if Toaster Man's still in the chat, but I don't think he's seen that clip. How much clip is that? The, the, the dude playing the Mario 64 mod and he's yelling about how he wants to see. <laughs> I wanna see! I'm still here. It's like my favorite Twitch clip of all time. I'm just thinking about it, and like instead of like doing you know, like the Undertale Janus I run, you should just play Doom after you do the passive run because it's basically the same thing. Uh huh, yep. <laughs> I'm sure. Well, actually, no, it's wrong because it seems better. But, you know. Uh, have you played Undertale? No, I don't need to. I think to. you have no authority. Oh no! <laughs> I, don't, I don't need to, I can just say that pretty authoritatively. Because it's it's doom. Hello, sticky. Oh, I open this shit. What, what shit are you opening? <laughs> the bookmarks. Oh, okay. You have it bookmarked. Why would I not have it bookmarked? What you think I remember <laughs> the URL? I wouldn't be surprised if you did. I'm like, how did? How the fuck did someone throw a grenade that quickly? <laughs> it's like, oh yeah. It's, oh yeah, explosion. A weapon that can destroy it. Yep. So it was fine. 
Yeah, kind of like how I can't play Doom until Doom 2 comes out. I can't play, or I can't watch One Punch Man until One Punch Man Season 2 comes out. <laughs> That's gonna be... I'm expecting that to be, like, considerably worse. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be, like, a, a poor follow-up, I think. Because JC staff aren't known for doing... I managed to snatch that egg right before I could get it. So, uh, JC staff aren't really good at action. Especially not compared to Matos, who are like one of the fucking best at animating bad shit things. So, the shift is weird, strange, and I don't like it. Matos were like fucking perfect for that show, like in every, every single way. And the fact that they didn't get to do it. Like, it could have at least went to Studio Bones, who did, uh... Studio Mob Psycho. Bones? Yep, he did Mob Psycho 100, which they also have a talent for action, they meet, like, they fucking nailed that show. So, like, they have, like, the style down for one's works, but... Sadly, it's not to be, I guess. I think I might have actually made a difference there. Did you, did you use Bomb Rush to do it? Yeah. Holy oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> you actually did, because you killed like another boss like here to give us the eggs. Bo I Dude, bomb Rush is the worst. Yeah, bomb like Rush is pretty see. bad. I wanna see! Like, the times you can see it runs are like 1 in 100. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Clips.twitch.tv slash Swiss body peach vote nay. Yeah, professional is the highest. After that, you're just on like a constant meter grind. Uh... Yeah, like, it's like after you get the professional, you just keep building the meter like up and up until like, what, 999? But, you know, it, they, once you get to that level, it's like, well, welcome to hell. Hello! Ah, fuck you! Jesus Christ! I want to see! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Wow! <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Maybe one day I'll unlock you. <laughs> what are you unlocking? Any weapon above level 23? Am I 22? <laughs> 23. Oh, you're like 25. Nope. Huh. Maldiat's the best hat. Well, I mean, you have the thing to do it, so hey. Your time is nigh. You have your gear, your time is nigh. Well, gear three things. Sorry, what? It's three things. Not, you have your gear, yeah. Not one thing. You know gear refers to like multiple so, items, right? when you said thing instead of things. You can keep choking on this, that doesn't change the fact that you must play Turf War now. <laughs> you need to play Turf War now. <laughs> never, no, never <laughs> Turf War. I, I've, I've established that Turf War is for babies, so, uh... Because it makes you mad. No. Because it's Why not then? ranked, Gavin. Everyone knows that if you don't play the ranked mode in a video game, you're a baby. Casual mode makes you a casual. I think there are people out there who say that the one calling someone a casual is a slur. I've seen that. It makes me fucking <laughs> laugh. Like, just fuck off. Slur. God. Yeah, there should be a jump rope mini game in this. There should be leaderboards in this. I mean, there are leaderboards in this. What do you mean? It's called rank. No. <laughs> They even keep track of that? Yeah, I mean, that's why they determine rank X is like literally a fucking leaderboard. Oh. 
Oh, I didn't know that. Like, rank X is like lift, literally a shifting leaderboard of all the people up that high. Where do I access this? First, you have to get to like what S plus ten. You can like see the no, rank X leaderboards in the app. Even. Oh, in the app. That okay. Yeah. I should have known. That app's only used for buying things. Yeah, I'm, I'm locked in on this. Actually, how many ability chunks do I have left? I I don't think I'm actually locked into it. I just realized I said like I had 150. Oh, you made joke. Well, maybe you, you would have had 160. I have 163. Of what? Shells. Oh. Shells. I have 15 now. Because <laughs> I'm like, you know, it would be great if I could just get two swim speeds at once, and then it just never happened, so I settled for one. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a definitely a valid strategy for getting more chunks or just, you know getting gear you want because you know chunks are great but re-rolling still kind of works i just can't wait until you can spend money to re-roll again because yeah. then <laughs> we're set then we're set we can just re-roll like and actually use this pile of fucking hell yeah that's what happens when you play salmon run for literally over a year and then like at least 40 percent of every orb is has the chance to be money yeah. It's like, it's 40% it's for the normal, 20% for the rare, and then, yeah, 40% for money, I think, so. And all I remember is green is ability chunks and gold is money. So. Oops. But yeah, that's, that's Salmon Run, uh... When is next salmon run? Implying they're gonna let you pay money this time? There's no, they have to. They have to, there's no way they're not, right? Right? I mean, I fucking hope so, cause I'm not gonna use this money for anything else. So next salmon run is on the 16th. Two days from now. Yay. Splatfest this weekend, and I might stream it. For you. We don't even get one. Yeah, you'll probably get yours in like two weeks time or something. Just doesn't make any sense. Just make them all global. I mean, ideally they would do that, but, you know, Nintendo or Nintendo, and we'll have to fuck something up. You know. Culture and all that. The Americans just wouldn't understand what Sanrio characters are. Only the Americans, so everyone else doesn't count. You prick. Well, I mean, what? European culture? What's that? Actually, well, going by France, a lot closer to Japan than anywhere else. Are you thinking of Pokemon again? No, nah, France is like the second biggest consumer like, in the entire world of like anime and manga. Well, that explains a lot. Like, that's basically the reason why, like, Europe gets, like, so many anime games and, like, physical editions of them, where America sometimes doesn't. It's because France. France just buys all of it. I thought it was because Americans hated Japan because of Pearl Harbor. I mean, probably that, too. Never forget, right? I don't know what you're saying right to me. <laughs> right, Gavin? Never forget. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's, uh... Let's... I need the shit, so let's go. <laughs> okay, I mean, I was just gonna say, before we mention any more tragedies, but... <laughs> I mean, I guess that works, too. 